Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Again, my name is Simon Morris. I'm the CEO of Iris Tech Software. As CEO of Cogniview Corporation, a vision processor technology company that was acquired by NXP Semiconductor last year, I know how complicated vision processing and the human eye are. Iris Tech, for the first time, takes the science of the eye and incorporates it in software into the display world. It's frustrating to view your display device, smartphone, tablet, laptop, in bright light. Why is that? There are two billion display devices manufactured every year, but they're all manufactured with the assumption that our eyes are the same. The eyes of a 25-year-old male in room lighting. That's clearly not the case. In the dark environment, the brightness of the display is the number one contributor to eye strain and eye fatigue, in some cases causes headaches. The major display, uh, display device manufacturers like Samsung and Apple, of course, are spending billions of dollars on advancing display technologies and using sort of traditional hardware-centric image processing approaches to try to address these problems, including uh, the introduction more recently of auto brightness capabilities. But brightness is a double-edged sword. Brightness, of course, when you increase the brightness, you can improve the visibility, but you increase the eye strain and the eye fatigue, and of course, you kill the battery, because the display is 80% of the power consumed. Of course, reduce the, bright reduce the brightness, and you can't read the display. It's basically putting engineering before science, and that's the difference. We take a, Iris Tech has taken a different approach. It's employed physiologists to model how the eye works, taking the science, taking the models of those eyes, combining them with patent-pending, lightweight image processing algorithms to solve these problems. So we take a washed-out display experience in bright light. Actually, don't change the brightness. We restore the color and contrast and make that display readable. In the dark environment where you can't read the display, the brightness is so low, again, we restore the color and contrast at 1 20th of the power of the display and make that display now readable. The market's huge. It's 2 billion devices manufactured every year. Every one of those display devices can use Iris Tech software. Uh, in a mobile market, roughly about 50 cents to a buck can be made per unit on licensing video and image processing IP, which translates to about a billion to two billion dollar revenue stream for Iris Tech software. We think the early adopters will be VR headsets, smartphones, and smartwatches where the pain points is the biggest. They're mobile and they're, they're battery operated. So what we do is we take a software solution and make a display smart, make it model how your eye is really behaving, improving the visibility, and reducing the eye strain, redu uh, reducing the power consumption. It's not only a big market, but it's a growing market. So there, there are, uh, of course, three major sub-segments that comprise most of this market. Smartphones and now VR headsets and smartwatches, they're all growing markets. Just looking at the display panel market alone, it's $100 billion last year, and that's going to grow to about $150 billion in 2020. We launched our first software product, PowerSave, earlier this year, and in a very short order, we have more than half a dozen of the consumer device manufacturers and automotive manufacturers in formal evaluations. We expect our first production licensing wins later this year. Of course, we're rounded out, the team's rounded out with two brilliant co-founders, Tara Akavan and Afsun Sudi. Uh, they both have their PhDs in image processing and they are the inventors of the technology. Now, we're not just making displays smart so they adapt to the environment, we're also going to personalize the display. So we're, our tech, next version of our technology is actually going to adjust for the age and gender, solving problems like color blindness. And potentially, I'm not going to promise this one, but maybe eliminating the uh, a need for reading glasses. Just like you would want to have shoes that fit, you want displays to match how your eyes work. We're raising a $1.75 million seed round right now, and uh, we have a million of that committed. We expect to close this month. That will be used to finance the first phase of the business plan, which is the B2B licensing of our first product, PowerSave. That will be followed with a second round in uh, early next year of $5 million, which we use to commercialize the personalization technology. And if you want to see a demonstration, we have the demo table over there, and you can see our first product, PowerSave, in, in action. Thank you. Thank you.